So, this today's episode was somewhat inspired um, by a very recent event. Um, as you can imagine, I'm mem- I'm a member of many a Discord. Um, you know, through various you know video games, I interact with a lot of people, and when I when I do get into a video game, I tend to want you know I tend to have a very clear purpose as to what I want to achieve or what I want to do in that video game. So I try to find communities or groups that are like minded, right? And so last night. I was in the middle of doing something very intense and very concentration, you know, very demanding on my concentration. And my Discord just, and I have to use Discord to be in voice comms with these other players. And my Discord starts popping off. Everyone's, you know, within a certain group, people are kind of like sending things to me like, oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. You know, um, what about this? Uh, Hey, are you free to do this? Hey, are you free to do that? And I'm in the middle of something, right? And this is just like, it's this constant, um, you know, kind of information overload, and it was very frustrating. And so after I had gotten finished and I had achieved and done and completed what I intended to do, though not at the level I would have liked to have done it, um, I went through and I just, like, just removed so much from Discord. I just kind of went a little bit nutty and, uh, you know, kicked out a whole slew of discord servers and just that's it done not i don't want to deal with this anymore stop adding me i don't care you know and when i think about star citizen one of the first things that i do um is that uh, whenever i get into the game and i think you're going to see me do it in a few seconds is i go in and i kick out chat i kick out general chat almost immediately you know i just shut it off, get rid of it, don't want to see it, don't care, you know, that's it. And it's not because, you know, oh, all these people in general chat, you know, they're just plebs and I don't care what they think. It's just that it it becomes information overload. Certainly, um, those of you who remember just like a patch ago, we were constantly being flashed at the top of our screen like, oh, hey, there's a mission here. Oh, hey, there's a mission there. Oh, hey, such and such needs help in space. Oh, distress signal, blah, blah, blah. You know, constantly, boom, 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 boom. And you're trying to do something. You're constantly having this thing flash at the top of your screen. And to their credit, CIG has seemingly like cut that out. But I think that in a weird way, I think that it kind of kicks open a door to, um, to explore... I think a better way of managing our interactions with other players in the star citizen community in general like right now we just have general chat and we organize ourselves into groups through the org system right you know i'm a member of this org but sometimes you can be a member of two orgs or three orgs or four orgs however you decide to do it and i think that that system is probably something that needs a revisit And certainly as we're going through changes in the UI coming up and all of this, that I think that it's an excellent opportunity to look at this and change the nature of the org system and in, in the, and the star citizen community somewhat change the way we view it right now. It's kind of like this intense beam of light and everything just kind of floods at us, but I would like to kind of pass that light through a kaleidoscope and allow players to kind of check out certain bandwidths and say I, I don't care what happens over there and I only care what happens over here what I'm I think a, a very specific example that I would like to use of, of what I'm talking about is let's say hacking or smuggling within the star citizen community these are two of my bigger interests in the star you know in star citizen itself and hopefully one day these things will get much more fleshed out but what I would like to see is is the option that when you log into the game general chat and all that stuff is just it's not there all these notifications everything telling you oh so and so is here and needs help all that it's all just invisible to you and one of the first things that you might do through a tutorial is they teach you how to integrate with what i would like to call thanks once again uh, you know a perfect example if you can hear that in the background my phone pinging off while i'm trying to do something so i'm going to leave that in um because it's a perfect example um What I would like to see is that the game get broken up into organizations and communities. 
So let's say you're a member of, you know, whatever. Like, I'm a member of Scum. So these are the players that I play with. These are the people that I normally interact with whenever I'm in the game and we're playing together. But I would also like to see, you know, instead of just saying, oh, you can be a member of this org and that org and all that, I would like to see CIG allow players to create their own communities where people who may be in different organizations but have shared interests can interact with one another and they can kind of gatekeep who gets into these communities and who doesn't. Let's say you create like, I don't know, let's think of, um, you know, a suitably edgelord name like, you know, the black flag community and it's all about smugglers. And so all these people who choose to interact together within this community who talk mainly about smuggling might say someone might say hey i'm over at uh paradise cove which is where i am in the game right now um does anybody need you know this location in order to come in and you know pick up some drugs because i'm here i'm just doing it a quick delivery i'm going to pick up some drugs and take them to grim hex anybody else need basically like a marker to get right to that location and if there's someone else in that community who's around Arco might say, hey, that's a good idea. Sure. I'll, you know, group me. I'll, uh, I'll fly out to you. And to the rest of the Star Citizen community, to the rest of the people in general chat, you know, that that interaction is invisible to them. It's only within this limited community. The same thing like, let's say, hacking. Let's say you go to a satellite and for some reason the game screws up and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't register that you have a, uh, a hacking card or somehow it got lost and so you're just like man all i need is like a little walesco you know the cheap three thousand credit one if only i you know if only i had one of those but then you're a member of you know the you know the dark skull hacking group and uh you just say hey could someone help me out bring me a walesco i'll give you five grand for it i'm at such and such you know communications array could you know could you bring one over here and just kind of drop it and i'll give you the money and you could interact at that level or maybe you're trying to hack a satellite once it gets a little bit more involved and a little bit more intense and you're like oh sh oh shit i've never hacked one of these satellites before and you're a member of that hacking community you can just quickly put a message in there it's like anybody quick how do i you know how do i shut down the auxiliary computer core or whatnot and the you know someone will say oh this is how you do it da, 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 da. i think that you know, this is kind of like the perfect chance that where we can kind of, you know, pass that light, so to speak, through the kaleidoscope and subdivide it out and get away from just this general chat spam to, you know, creating interest groups within chat that players can opt into or, you know, they can kind of qualify for like, let's say, oh, there's, you know, a hacking community might say, you know, show us some of your best hacks and, you know, then you can join the community. Or some of the traders might say, hey, you know what, you know, give us your general trading routes or give us one tip that you know, maybe we haven't thought of to just gauge the, the quality of the person who's joining the community, allow players to kind of gatekeep and curate these communities and allow players to kind of just develop their own little sub communities within Star Citizen. Now, a system like this, you can also integrate it into the existing, you know, mission system that we have, because in general, the mission system that we have is th there's all kinds of missions that you have to read through. And there's all kinds of stuff that maybe you just don't care about. Like if you're a hacker, you don't care about delivery missions, probably, or a large, you know, group of the delivery missions. You, you just don't care about them. But what if, let's say, if you create, let's say a hacking community once again, and you put in mission interests and you just put hashtag hacking. And when the game generates one of these missions, it says it adds that hashtag depending on the, you know, what that, what that mission involves. So if it's a hacking mission, it'll add just the hashtag hacking to it. And so any one of these communities that has that enabled, that mission will then be posted within that community and you can see it there instead of just having this general all the missions are all kind of scrambled up in one place or you know roughly kind of organized in one place the people who only want to see certain missions will only see certain missions and so the rest of it is just you know it's just not there 
somebody who wants to role play as a mercenary or you know a, you know some form of rescue might not care about hacking missions and may not care about cargo missions but they may care about SOSs or you know pirate or vanduul infractions so they may want to organize themselves within a community where they just see those hashtags like hashtag SOS hashtag you know vanduul hashtag you know merc needed whatever and it all gets kind of filtered that way you know rather than just kind of the broadband spam that we kind of currently have right now and allowing play, you know, giving, you know, giving just the missions, these little markers and then allowing players to kind of define their own communities rather than just say, OK, well, why don't we just make a, a hacking channel and a mercenary channel and all this, but allowing players to kind of build a community around these things rather than just kind of having it just kind of flung at them. However, CIG wants to do it. I think that that's kind of I, I would like that much better, you know. And then when you go into Moby Glass, instead of just seeing that general app button, like a certain community can pick from a, you know, a different kind of, um, you know, different icons for their app. And they could actually call it like the Black Flag Hacking Community app. And it can just have like a little skull and crossbones on it or whatever. And so instead of seeing that mission thing, you would see that personalized thing to your community that you can connect with and there's all the hacking questions here's the discussions and here's the missions and it's all just right there and you don't see any of the other crap now with the hashtags hashtags thing aside you could say well this is just a different type of org so why even make it but i think that you know it, there is a distinct difference because when you're in an org you're grouped up with these people and these are the people that generally you play with but you may have separate interests from other members of that org a salvager may not care what a hacker's doing or a smuggler's doing and so on and so forth but they may all exist within the same org and i think that it gives you kind of almost like a little bit of a personal space even for players who are just like i don't want to participate in the org system i want to be completely solo and i want to play solo but I am going to need other members of the community from time to time and I should have, you know, a channel or something like that that I can define or that I can become a member of that allows me to interact with those, with those people when I need to. And otherwise I can just kind of go about and, you know, do my stuff without having to formally be a member of an org and follow all the rules and do all these, you know, and show up for all the organizational ops. I can do what I want when I want, but I also have, you know, the, the addition of this community that I can kind of turn to whenever I need help with something, even if it's something so simple as, you know, how do you complete this mission or where can I go and sell this iron or ETAM or neon for the best price? And they go, oh yeah, go here, you know, that sort of thing. I think that there is an important and distinct difference there to just strictly being a member of say like 20 different orgs or just one org. And just having like these kind of interest groups that you can interact with as well and being able to filter missions and interactions with the universe through these interest groups. I think that, you know, in this day and age in the real world, when we're so inundated with social media to the point that many of us have kind of gone to erasing or deleting or ignoring social media almost altogether that i think that it's important that we at at a very early stage we get to a point that we can kind of start to filter out these interactions you know passing the light through the kaleidoscope and picking the certain bands that we're interested in ignoring the rest because maybe we just don't care i think that you know cig certainly took a good first step when they removed all that spam but i think that for some people you know, they want to see those SOS missions or they want to see, you know, oh, this this thing popped up or that person's doing this or this person needs help. And they want to see those things and they want to know when those things pop up. And I think organizing it via like communities and little apps that they can players can author within a very limited, uh, you know, within limited options themselves and define themselves and group up with. I think that getting something like that in early and at, at the ground level it can 
it can enhance the community experience, enhance the immersion and allow us to kind of naturally filter, you know, the spam that otherwise unintentionally just inundates us when we have, you know, all these interactions that are generated within the Star Citizen universe. I don't know, but kind of a, a first take, first opinion on uh, how I would like to see things shape up in the future. Let me know what you think. Anyways, that's the show for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. for watching so, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in star citizen and squadron 42's development please follow please follow please follow us on our social media channels see you soon